Good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm so glad to see you again today. My name is Valerie Reynolds here at Huffman First Baptist Church in Huffman, Texas. I work with our preschoolers in our extended care, and I have been missing them. I miss all the fun things that we do together. I love watching them build in our block centers. I love the creations they come up with Play-Doh and in our art area. Love watching them read books. We have such a wonderful time, and we learn about Jesus every week. And we are missing our friends here at First Baptist, but we are doing this so that everybody can stay safe and well. But we have wonderful technology so that we can share the Bible stories with you, and you can still hear the Bible story. And maybe it'll be very soon, and we'll be able to be back together here at church. Um, today's Bible story is another story about Jesus and how he did things no one else could do. Jesus loved and helped people, and there are stories and stories and stories in the Bible that tell us that. Jesus loves you and me, your mommies, your daddies, your sisters, your brothers. He loves us so very, very much. And God's Word, the Bible, tells us that. And it tells us about the wonderful things that He does because He loved people. Today, we are going to be talking again about miracles. Remember when something very amazing happens that there is no way it can be explained that Jesus is going to perform a miracle today on this gentleman right here. That gentleman right there is completely blind in this story. He had never been able to see. So right now, I want us to talk a little bit about our eyes. I know all the kiddos in, in, in our extended care can see with their eyes. So if you can, I want you to go get a mirror. Ask mommy and daddy if they will get you a mirror because I want you to look at your eyes in the mirror. Some of your eyes are blue. Some are brown, some are green. They're all different colors because God created our amazing eye so that we can see things with it. He gave us ears to hear with. He gave us so many gifts, and one of the amazing gifts is our eyes to see with. After you've looked at your eyes and the beautiful color that they are, I want you to do something for me. I want you to close your eyes. Oh, that's what it would be like to be blind, to not be able to see anything. We wouldn't be able to see our mommies and daddies with our eyes. We wouldn't be able to see our brothers and sisters or the beautiful trees. We, it would be a sad thing to be completely blind where you couldn't see. So our story today is about a miracle that Jesus performs for this gentleman right here. It's a really neat story. I am very thankful that our eyes can see and, can, and our ears can hear. Our story today is found in John 9, and that's in the New Testament again. And we're going to be talking again about Jesus and how powerful he is and how he worked many amazing miracles, things that couldn't be explained any other way. Our verse is, I mean, our, our story is Jesus healed a man born blind. Jesus saw a man who had been blind since the day he was born. The blind man begged for money as people walked by him. He wasn't able at that time in the Bible, he didn't have a job. It is different now. People who are blind are able to work, they go to school, they do many, many things. But at that time, if you were blind, you were just a beggar on the street. So every day he would just sit there and beg, I need money, I need money, I need food. That was the only way that he could get food. Jesus saw him and he wanted people to see how much God's lo God loved him, how much he loved him. So you know what he did? He made some mud. He put some dirt and water and molded around in his hands and he put it on the man's eyes. Mud. Ooh, I can't even imagine. Mud all over his eyes. Jesus then told the man to go and wash his eyes in a pool called the Pool of Siloam. The man 
obeyed Jesus. He didn't say, oh, I don't want this mud on me. What are you doing? No, he let Jesus put that mud on his eyes because he knew Jesus was powerful and that Jesus works miracles and Jesus loved him. So he let him put that mud on him and he went down to the pool of Siloam and he bent over and he got that water and washed all that mud off. <gasps> and when he opened his eyes, he could see for the first time in his whole life. He could see people around him. He could see the water, the trees. He could see all kinds of things around him. And he was so excited. The man said, I was blind and Jesus healed me. Well, guess what? There were people there. They were so mean and ugly. They said, there is no way that Jesus healed you. And he kept saying, no, Jesus healed me. I was blind, but now I can see. The people were shocked because he's always been blind. He never could see. And they didn't want to believe that Jesus was powerful and that he could work miracles. But he did. He did that for this poor man who had never been able to see. And the man said again, I was blind and Jesus healed me. He told the people everywhere what Jesus had done. The man told them again that Jesus was the one who healed them. The people then saw that Jesus did things that no one else could do. That was one of those amazing miracles that couldn't be explained any other way. We know it wasn't the mud or the water in the pool. It was because of Jesus' power and love for this man that his eyes were healed. Jesus loved and helped people. That's also found in the New Testament in Matthew. Jesus can help you. Jesus helps me. His desire, he wants to show his love to us and to help us in all things. You've been great listeners today. I'm so proud of you. Remember, our word cards were blind. He was blind, but now he can see because Jesus performed a miracle. Let's bow our heads in prayer, please. Dear Jesus, thank you that you loved this man and that you saw and felt sorry for him because he could not see and you had mercy and wanted him to see. Thank you that you healed him and that he could see again, that you showed those people you were powerful and that you were amazing and that you perform miracles because you love people and you wanted him to be able to see. Thank you that you love me and you love our preschoolers. In Jesus' name, amen.